We're, bab we're back with Bob Cornelius. We're talking about the uh, national scene uh, regarding the uh, Republican Party and talking about various uh, issues there. Um, let's talk about some of these national candidates, okay? Um, the up and coming Marco Rubio. Talk Marco Rubio bit. is an exciting candidate. Mm -hmm. I think right now. Uh, he is he going to run? Do you think he'll run for? I think so. I mm -hmm. think it'd be. I mean, he's, there's a lot of pressure on him, I think, to run. I mean, he's an exciting young candidate. Uh, has a lot of appeal to a lot of different people. Uh, mm -hmm. Just won in Florida overwhelmingly a couple years ago. Um, I think he was t high up on the list for VP. And I think, uh, yeah, it, it'd be hard to see him not run. I can't imagine him not running. Do you think Romney made a mistake not picking Marco Rubio last time? Who I don't know. I don't, you know, Paul Ryan is interesting. I, I've actually got to meet Paul Ryan once. He's a very interesting uh, congressman. He was a budget man. He was a he budget was a, He expert. was a budget so man. So I think he was picked for that reason. Yeah. But I think probably that hurt uh, Mitt Romney in ways too because he's t he took positions that I think, you know, we go back to reaching out to the most voters. I mean, we need 50% plus one. And I don't think Paul Ryan was that guy nationwide. Uh, Marco Rubio, I think, could be. I think Rand Paul could be. Uh, senator from Kentucky, Kentucky okay. and uh, and he's new too. These are all new senators that the Republicans have elected, and I think uh, you know the party's excited about all three of these guys. What 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 issues do you think besides the fact that um, uh, some of those comments that were made during the election, and and uh, you know when you talk, look at Todd Aiken's comment, some of the other comments that didn't help the party at that point. Right. But aside from that. Um, do you think it was an immigration issue? Do you think it was anything specific that you felt that the Republican Party was? Uh, I, like I said, I think it goes back to the messenger. I think Mitt Romney had a hard time connecting. I think in 2008, mm -hmm. when uh, Senator McCain ran, mm -hmm. he was a veteran. People could get behind that. People in New Mexico could get behind that. People had a hard time, uh, you know, He's running for many years, though. I mean, Romney has. Yes, he, he has. I mean, years. and a lot of candidates do. A lot of candidates, uh, you know, run officially or unofficially for a couple years before the campaign starts. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, I think he had a hard time uh, appealing to enough enough people. And it's just, I mean, it's unfortunate. But, uh, you know, we've got three more years to find an, a, a good candidate uh, to put up in 2016. But you personally don't think there is any identified candidates that are the front runners right? I, I besides think, these three. I, I think uh, you know we've got uh, those three U.S. senators. I think we've got some strong governor candidates. I think uh, 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 Governor McDonnell in Virginia. Governor I think Haley. Governor Haley, South Carolina South is is very strong. Governor Jindal in Louisiana, Correct. very attractive candidate. Um, even some northern governors, Governor Kucinich in Ohio, maybe is maybe a good candidate. He was a former congressman, and so he's got a pretty good base to, to launch from. And so we'll see. It'll, like I said, three years out, it's hard to tell. Uh, and we don't have a Hillary Clinton and that has the name ID established for 20 years, 30 years Because she's going to be pretty tough to go up against. That's Without a, a doubt. I mean, yeah. she's got, you know, probably 98, 99% uh, name, uh, name ID. So she Secretary doesn't have to build a Secretary of State, yeah. Senator, First Lady. Uh, Senate. It's, yeah, a, so it's a tough resume. Very tough resume, and uh, I think they'll, you guys have a pretty uphill battle there. It will. It depends on where. Well, and it depends on where we are mm -hmm. uh, in the country. You know, um, you know, Clint, Bill Clinton was popular, and uh, and he's uh, popular in New Mexico. So I assume when Hillary, if she does run, Bill Clinton will spend a lot of time in the Southwest because he's very popular here. Yeah. Uh, most people, when we're talking about the last elections, they said, well, uh, I think Obama can be beaten because, you know, the, because of the economy right. and all that. And he overcame all that. Mm -hmm. um, he overcame the Hispanic Latino vote. He came, overcame a lot of issues that were there. Um, do you think um, that uh, a female vice presidential, uh, presidential candidate might have helped Romney? Like if he had bought uh, Sarah Palin, for instance. Oh, uh, I don't know. Or another. I candidate. don't know if Sarah Palin would have been the right choice. Uh, Nikki Haley might have been a good choice. Mm -hmm. um, you know, another, another senator, Kel Kelly Ayotte, up in Nor New Hampshire, mm -hmm. might have helped him win you know, win in the Northeast more. Mm -hmm. Possibly so. I think uh, Mark. We mentioned Marco Rubio earlier. Marco Rubio might have been a better candidate nationwide than uh, John. I really thought he was going to be picked Paul Ryan. for VP. I, I really did. I thought it was very it was surprising to well, me when and when and it's not to, it's not to say that maybe he we we may never know if he was asked. Uh, he might have turned it down. You know, if I'm in uh, Senator Rubio's shoes, I might have turned down the vice presidential candidacy because Mitt Romney was losing, 
do you want to be on a losing ticket right before you run for president in an open seat? I think you stick, you know, you support the you support the ticket, you support the cause, and then uh, you kind of let the cards fall wh where they may, and then you pick up and, uh, you know, in a couple of years and maybe run your own campaign. Do you think it hurt Paul Ryan to get on that ticket? Um, I don't know if it hurt Paul Ryan because he's very quiet right now. Well, Is it depends he? on what he wants to do. If mm -hmm. he's gonna, if he's still gonna be in the House leadership, mm -hmm. I don't think it hurts. I think if he has national ambitions, it might have hurt him. I think any time you have a loss on your record, um, it hurts because that's what they'll say. They'll go back to you and say, "Well, you just lost the last race." Well, Paul, did Paul Ryan lose or did Mitt Romney lose? And that's kind of the, you know, the argument that pe some people will have. That's because yeah, they usually vote for the president. They don't vote for yeah, the yeah. They don't, but um, you know, sometimes if you have a vice presidential candidate that has some issues that are glaring, that are you know, the media is able to attack, the other party is able to attack. It makes it easier to you know tie the presidential candidate to that, and it and it shows what kind of choices you would make once you are president. And so I think uh, vice presidential pick is very important. Exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, moving on to uh, the immigration situation there, mm -hmm. and I know we probably have a few uh, maybe a minute left on our segment there. Um, we'll talk a little, about, little bit about the immigration. What you think the Republican Party need to do to attract uh, the Hispanic and Lat Latino vote there? Uh, because I know uh, you guys suffer from that. There was a lot of comments made. Right. Recently, there was a comment made by the uh, Alaskan uh, congressman there, made a comment regarding uh, I I migrant workers there. So uh, in, I think in the short term, you guys are able to raise, uh, some of the candidates are able to raise the money, but in the long term, I think it... it right, ups. I think uh, immigration is a huge issue. Yeah. It's a huge issue for New Mexico and the Southwest. It's a huge issue for the United States. We have to figure out the immigration problem, and it starts with securing the borders. We can't do anything else uh, without securing the borders. We can't you know, decide if there's a path to citizenship. We can't decide what we're going to do until we secure the border and then know who's here and who's not here. And um, you know, I think you know, the, there's uh, Mark Rubio's very integral in this, too. There's a gang of eight working on, in the Senate, working on an immigration bill. Correct. And we haven't seen all the details yet, but it looks like it's going to be something that'll pass. And if it passes in the Senate, I think it'll pass in the House if Marco Rubio is uh, is indeed a sponsor of that bill. Oh, who's on the gang of eight? No, John McCain. Who John McCain. On uh, I know Marco Rubio. Is Marco there. Rubio. Uh, Lindsey Graham in South Carolina okay. uh, is a Republican, and um, I believe Jeff Flake is the, uh, from the Arizona. senator in Arizona. Arizona. Yeah. And then uh, you have um, on the Democrat side. Uh, senator Leahy, I believe, uh, Senator, the, the New York Senator, mm -hmm. uh, not Gillibrand, uh, I'm going blank on his name now, the, the gentleman who's the Senator from New York. Correct. Yeah. And, uh, so there's a few uh, people yeah, that are they're working on. Yeah, the, behind the scenes. I think correct. Marco Rubio is really taking the leadership on our side. And uh, yeah. Okay, we'll take a short break, and then when we come back, we'll start again from the immigration and okay. move on to the other stuff. Okay. We'll be, right, we'll be right back with Bob Cornelius. Um,